Hi there, my name is Tim Smith. I'm an Acros here at Ushaka and we're standing in the jelly or culture lab where we're going to be learning about jellyfish today. So on our coast we often encounter blue bottles that might wash up or come near and shore. People often think that those are jellyfish, but they're actually not really jellyfish. They're close relatives and they do still sting, uh, but they're just close cousins rather than being actual jellyfish. So in South Africa we actually have a greater diversity of jellyfish on the west coast, but we do have still quite a few species of the world here on the east coast. Uh, so what people might see very often, while not a true jellyfish, you'll see blue bottles washing up very often. Uh, and then we have two uh, kind of blubber type jellies. One is called a blue jellyfish and one is called a St. Lucia jelly. Uh, those two sometimes pop up in great numbers. Um, and then sometimes you'll see really big jellyfish wash up called cannibal jellies, um, which are uncommon but tend to be the biggest animals you'll see wash up. Okay, so despite the rumor that when people are exposed to jelly, saying that you're supposed to uh, urinate in it, I really advise that you do not be uh, being friends. Um, there are other better ways to deal with the problem. Uh, so typically, if you get stung by a jellyfish, the, the first thing you need to do is make sure that the sting is removed from the body. Uh, so either use a pair of tweezers or a stick or something just to get it off you. Uh, you don't want to wash the sting with fresh water. That tends to uh, trigger the stings to activate a little bit more. Uh, you should be near the sea, so try to get sea water just to wash over it. Um, once that is clear, uh, try to find a lifeguard. Typically the lifeguards uh, on the coast, they'll carry some uh, vinegar with them. If not then, maybe a surfer sometimes will be carrying it as well. And just cover the area uh, with vinegar to try to deactivate the stings. So jellyfish are essentially part of the plankton. They're controlled by the currents. And, and part of that is that they, they eat plankton themselves. Typically it's very small plankton, zooplankton and uh, phytoplankton. So any animals smaller themselves, but typically animals that we can barely see ourselves. So very small shrimps, very small crustaceans, anything in the water column that's alive. So we don't see a lot of jellyfish in Durban, but when they do pop up, they tend to pop up in numbers. So there are a lot of environmental factors that determine when a jellyfish will show up or when lots of them will show up. Uh, so it might be seasonal, but typically when we do see jellies and when we get these very strong offshore winds that bring the jellies from uh, deep out at sea uh, to the inshore. If you see a jellyfish in the wild and wash up on the, the shore, the best thing to do is to respect the animal, uh, give it its space, so this is potentially an animal that can sting you. Uh, if you're not sure of the species, rather avoid it. Um, and again, it's something to admire, jellyfish are beautiful to look at, but maybe not necessarily to be touched or handled. So just give them their space and let them do what they do best. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you learned something about jellies today and appreciation for all the forms that they come in.